if you had a crystal ball and long-term view, what do you think 20 years from now corporations will look like? I think there's a lot of signs that are aiming to much more fluid boundaries of organizations. <clears throat> so people move into and out of them much more quickly. So they sort of create teams and disband teams around the different agendas that they want to, um, to achieve. So there's, I, I don't know where this research came from, but there's research that shows that college graduates today will have something like 29 jobs in their career, um, which to me is a really good indication of, of what we're talking about. So if I move from hierarchical command and control structures for organizations to this complex adaptive systems model, um, then, you, then you think about places like Google where I bring in Nest thermostat I, I'm not convinced Nest will be part of that company in the long run, right? <clears throat> so you see, once, once sort of information in the home is being managed in different ways, there will be lots of not just thermostats, but refrigerators and coffee makers, well, yeah, with the, the Internet of Things will distribute a lot of that. So I think that what we're going to start to see is I want to move to this new kind of technology. I'll get the people together to figure that out. But then when I need to move to the next one, that group of people will disband and I'll draw a new group of people together. So there'll be these much more fluid um, boundaries around what we know of as, as corporations today. Um, and part of that's simply because if you go back in the literature on organizational structure and organizational design, the old mechanistic models, which you know we still teach some of in business school, those old mechanistic models are just not agile enough to, to move in this new environment. There's a guy named Jay Galbraith who wrote a book called The Information Processing Model of an Organization. And in it, he argues that organizational structures are, are all aimed at moving information as fluidly as possible across the organization. Well, if you look at how um, people are moving information today, it's not I go to my boss who talks to his or her boss who it's, I found it on Reddit, or I was in a Facebook group, or I, right, the information is moving in, in very different ways. So now I've got this fluid information flow, then what's the value of, of hierarchy? It has, less, it has less value. So I think that's where corporations will go. It might be a painful process for some of them, I don't know. <laughs> yeah.